Hi, welcome to the Cyber Zone. Sometimes your phone is being tracked, monitored, spied on by hackers, scammers, or even sometimes hired agency. Yes, and the very sad issue here is that you wouldn't see them. You don't know how to detect these activities from these hackers on your phone. So today, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can check to see if your phone has been hacked, compromised, and a very possible way to prevent or to block them from detecting or following you on your mobile phone, right? This is DK Cyber. If you're new on this platform, can you do well to share and subscribe and also click on the bell icon. Anytime you release good content like this, you'll be the first person to see it. Welcome once again, let's begin. Number one, your phone's battery starts draining. Like when you charge your mobile phone, it doesn't take long time, then it starts, uh, you know, the battery percentages start coming down. Let me show you something here. Pick your mobile phone and go to settings, right? In settings, you can just search for Let's search for battery. It depends on the phone that you use. Sometimes battery usage or battery life, you know. So my phone is battery usage. So let me go to battery usage here. Then I'll go to battery usage here. Then this very one. Okay. Now here I can see all the apps using my battery percentage. Now, if there's an app here that I don't know what the app is doing, I don't know the app, then can you just uninstall the app? Right. Now, sometimes you know, you see all these apps here, they are picking your battery and there will be some app hidden on your mobile phone that you don't know it you can't see it but i'm going to show you because some of the apps are very advanced that when you come here you won't see it but don't worry still keep to this channel i'm going to show you right away right so this is the first point is battery percentage if you are someone that your battery drains very fast please be very careful about it start be curious about it and start to research or find out what is happening to your mobile phone number two is data usage so assuming you find yourself in the part of the world that I find myself, whereby we buy data. Now, to buy data, assuming you're using 5 CDs data for a day, but now you're buying 10 CDs. It's not as a result of maybe the price of data has increased, but it's as a result of maybe uh, your phone started pulling much data, right? If you're living in the Western world or the Europe, whereby you use Wi-Fi and other stuff, that one even you pay monthly, right? So if your, your, your monthly bill goes high, then you should know that something is really happening to the device that you're using. And then you need to find out about it. Sometimes there's a spy app on your phone. There's a key logger on your phone. And what this app does is they also use your data to communicate whatever is happening on your phone to the fraudsters, to the scammers, to the people who are spying on you, right? So that is the very second symptom. Now, the very third symptom is about call forwarding, call tracking, call diverting. Some of us, when you make calls, you could hear a call in it. You could hear there's some sound in the in the call you are doing. You are, you are fan of that. You know, you, you are at a, an office or in your own office. You are calling someone also in the office. But you could hear there's a sound in, in, in the call that you are doing. Then something is really happening that you need to really find out about it. Now to check if someone is diverting your call, forwarding your call or tracking your calls, what you can do is dial this code, star hash, 62 hash, right? Some people will call it star pound, 62 pound right so star hash sees to hash that's the first one the second one to also do is star hash 002 hash right the third one to do is star hash 21 hash right so this code will bring you a pop-up to check to see if someone is providing your call or diverting your call if you see someone is providing your call or diverting your call then what you have to do is just type star hash hash sees to hash right hash hash sees to hash to block it hash hash 002 hash to block it or hash hash two one has to block it right so that is the best way that you can prevent someone from diverting your call or forwarding your call right so that is the point number three the next point is you see an animal screenshot it's not you you don't take screenshots periodically but you go there you see screenshots you see messages you see calls from strangers messages from strangers that you don't know about that should tell you something that something is happening to your phone and you need to find out and that might be as an activity of maybe an app on your phone that is taking screenshots sending to some people somewhere right so the screenshots the messages that comes on the anonymous scores that come in please so be very careful about that right so that is point number four. point number five is your phone starts running slow anytime you feel that your phone is that high like you know it has a spec you know your phone is has all the the features the phone should run fast but still the phone is running very slow then please be very careful about that try to find out what is happening to the phone the very possible last thing i will talk about because the phone uses much data uses much energy much battery you see that the phone starts becoming hot see there you see you feel that it's an iphone though 
it's an Android phone though, it's a Samsung phone though, but you see the phone becomes hot. Then you have to be very careful about it. Try to check what is happening to your phone now. So these are some of the things that we could see on our phone when hackers or scammers or agencies are trying to spy on us or track us, right? So that is it. Or better still, assuming you use a mobile phone like an iPhone. iPhone, when it gets lost or you want to find where your iPhone is, you can use uh, find my iPhone. You can go to the web and uh, look for iCloud.com slash find or on, on Android is find my device. That one you can go to Android.com slash find. Anytime your phone gets lost and you have enabled those features on your mobile phone, you should be able to track it if the data is not off or your phone is not off, right? So that is about mobile security, how you can detect the activities of scammers, hackers on your mobile phone. Now, why do they do this? No, normally they've been contracted or they want information from you and they do that through these following things, through spy app. Spy app, we have a lot of spy apps and when you go on Google Play Store, other uh, uh, other platforms, you don't, you won't see them as a spy app. Normally they call it family monitoring tool monitoring tools right so the idea behind that spy app is to monitor your kid your child right if your child says he's going to some place or you want to find out what the child is doing so that one normally you need a first time access right so if you're someone that your phone you don't have passcode on it you don't have those things on it and someone takes your phone you can easily install such spy apps on it and basically they will get everything that goes on on your phone this is how spy app work when spy apps are on your phone it takes basically everything on your phone your pictures, your calls, your messages, your social media messages, everything on your phone. You will just see everything as a face, right? So let's be very careful about spy app. The next one is key loggers. Key loggers take keystroke of your mobile phone. Assuming this morning you go to uh, your bank account or you are trying to do some transaction on your mobile phone and you are trying to put in something, then they, they start recording the keystroke, right? So you go to Facebook, you try to change your password, then the keystroke, they start picking that up, right? So that is another way that they also used to do, right? Another way is a phishing attack under the social engineering attack. Phishing is when you receive those links to go and download that, to go and do that. A lot, most of times, most of the links are phishing and they are just there to spy you, to trick you and get information from you. So when you have a phishing link like that, what you can do is just go to the uh, uh, go to uh, Google, right? So if you have a phishing link, just go to Google and search for virus tutor, virus tutor. Then you just uh, copy the link and put it into the URL site and there you are off to go, right? So that would also help you to secure yourself, right? The next thing you can also do right now is just relax, click on the subscribe button, share this video, and also make sure that you click on the bell icon now, right? So let's talk about the preventive mechanisms. How are we able or how can you, I, be able to prevent these things from happening? The very first thing I will tell you that go to your phone, right? So you go to your phone settings, then you go to the apps, right? Now go to all, see, uh, go to all the apps, right? So let's go here, see all apps, right? Now make sure that you understand and know what every app is doing on your phone. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and the apps that you have, it's double, double, delete them. You have almost about photo editing app, like three, four, five, delete most of them. Leave one, you understand? Yes, because they also compete with data and battery. Now, aside that, make sure that every app you have on your phone, you know what that app is doing on your phone, right? So just check it. Any app that you think that you don't need it, just delete the app, right? So that is another way. The next one is I'll talk about anti antivirus. You know, when you use antivirus on uh, the web, like the PCs, Normally, yeah, it comes free with a mobile version. But if you don't have, you can check up other, other antivirus software. You have some are free, some are paid. So you can just use them. Um, I know I don't want to talk about any here and now, but we have a lot of antivirus. You can just go and research, research about that. antivirus, find the best antivirus that work for you, and you can use it right now. So, so that is it. The next one I also talk about is make sure you back up your data on your mobile phone. After backing up the data, then you try to go to factory reset. Reset your phone into a very new mode, a developer's mode, where everything has been cleared on a mobile phone, right? So that is it. Um, so after you deleting the apps, you still see that things are going on wrongly. Uh, then you just make sure that you back up your data. Then reset your phone. When you are uh, bringing back your data, make sure that every data that is coming has been screened. Uh, in the sense that you go through all the ones you are installing back again to see if they are healthy for you on that particular phone, right? See, today, we've got our mobile phones always with us, and that has become one of the greatest tools 
against us too. So its protection, its security is a key component in our daily life every day. So DK Cyber, I'm here educating you on how best you could see this hacked activity on your mobile phone and also how best you can protect yourself, right? If you do like this video, kindly give us a thumbs up and subscribe and share for other people to join this great, great community, right? So next time, we're going to bring you a very good content, right? So do well to share now. So what we are going to do now is make sure that this video you watch again and pencil down everything, every key thing that you need. Normally, when you watch video, don't leave them. Just try to pick one or two things and try to apply it. It will help you, right? So thanks for watching. And the names remain DK Cyber, the youngest cyber crime fighter. To meet again, I say thank you.